This man probably needs no introduction. You probably already know him, but Aaron Judge, dude, thank you so much for hopping on the feed, brother. Nah, thank you, man. It's been a minute, so I'm glad to get back on here and do our thing. You ready to check out some of your top performing social media posts? Oh boy, let's let's see what we got. We got to start with a throwback with your boy Tyler Wade, T. Wade, man. Oh my goodness, yeah, that was my first year in pro ball. You know, my first affiliate playing in Charleston, South Carolina. I think that was Wade's second year. We got drafted the same year, but. He started out a little quicker than me and kind of comparing our jerseys, man. In the minor leagues, they really don't have stuff that fits you the right way. So you either got to go a little bigger, a little smaller. So we thought we'd kind of mess around and see what my 6'8 body compared to his, you know, 6'1, 6'2 body, uh, the difference. And it was, I feel like the 7 fit me pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, don't yeah, know. why not, man? <laughs> Slim fit. Yeah. Next one, dude. Easter egg hunt, man, that's your thing. Don't compete against him when it comes to the Easter egg hunt. He's gonna win. You know, it's a disadvantage sometimes with the low ones when they hide them low. I kind of have a disadvantage, but the high ones, you know, reaching into a pool here, this was actually at my buddy uh, Jordan Luplo's house. You know, just us spending a little time for on Easter, and man, that, was, that was a fun day, man. We had a lot of, quite a few guys from the team out there, and you know, I was getting that pool one. I wasn't letting that one go, man. I had, I had the reach, I had the reach over everybody, so. Now that was from your Fresno days, and you've posted before on Instagram uh, how it started versus how it's going. So we put together a how it started mm -hmm. versus how it's going. Fresno State signed autographs, and here you are in the Bronx signing autographs for fans. This is pretty special when you just look at this comparison, isn't it? Yeah, you go from you know one you know little kid at Fresno State asking for your autograph, man, and you know now we got the the Yankee faithful you know every game like this packing out the house, man. It's it's pretty cool, but I just I always try to spend a couple minutes, you know, either pre-game, post-game, do something for the fans like this. Because even though they're not on the field with us, man, these all those fans are Yankees, man. They're they're right there with us, and I like to show the support because they show up, you know, cheering for us, rooting for us, man. I got to show my support and and do some things for them, man. I try to hit the kids too, man. That's what it's about because I can I can picture myself as that little eight-year-old, little ten-year-old asking for an autograph. So I try to you know make it a special special memory for them. Amazing, you do such a great job at that. And everybody knows that you have two awesome little dogs, but you've always been a dog guy. And, and here's Lucky, the OG dog in yeah, the family, this right? Is, this is the OG, this is my parents' dog. Uh, we got him first year out of Fresno. So he's he's been with us for a long time. Um, and he was a special dog, he's a little, he was a little mix. We picked him up at a shelter and he's a good boy. That's what I'll say. <laughs> And then here's Penny. Yeah. Here it is. This is the first dog that you got yeah. as an adult. As an adult, you know, my wife and I, Samantha, this is, she grew up with wiener dogs. I grew up with bigger dogs. So we kind of made a compromise. You know, we living in New York City. I always told her, hey, like once we get a house, we get a yard, then we'll do the dog thing. But she's like, well, if we get a little dog, you know, they don't need that much space. You can take them for walks, do their thing. So, you know, I compromised. I said, all right, we'll get a little dog. We'll have some fun with that, man. And I think I'm a, I'm a dachshund guy now. That's the only dog I want. They're so great. They're faithful. They're loyal. You know, she's my little sidekick, so it's pretty cool. And it was awesome when you brought Gus out to the stadium too. That <laughs> video went viral everywhere. Yeah, he's a superstar. You know, Penny. You know, she was the first one. I've taken her out to Yankee Stadium quite a few times, but Gus was the one that got the he got the lights, camera, action. So he's he's the popular one right now. It, Penny doesn't mind that at all. You know, it's it's good for Gus to kind of get out there in the spotlight a little bit. When we had Jim Palmer on the feed and also to Steve Strippa, they were talking about like their dachshunds and like how they want their dachshunds to meet your dachshunds and then you have one big dachshund party. I think Steve Strippa, since he's in New York City, I think it's possible and he's been to the Yankees game before. So you might have a dachshund club coming we up. We might have a dachshund club. So I think the Yankees need to have like a little dog day or something <laughs> like that so we can we can bring them all out and you know have our little powwow. There has been dogs out at the ballpark too outside of Gus, but uh, Rookie. Yeah, my man Rookie. He was the one back in Double A Trenton. He was, we get a base hit, we walk, we throw our bat down, he was the bat boy. We didn't, that was before we really had an official bat boy, we had our band rookie go out there, grab the bat, bring him back to the dugout man. So it was usually meant you had a good day when you came back at the end of the day and your bat just had a bunch of bite marks in it because that means <laughs> you were getting a lot of hits and my man rookie was grabbing your bat. So it was uh, always cool having him at the stadium. <laughs> And all your hard work has been paying off, and here you got your jersey retired, looking fresh in this suit. This was a special moment for you as well. Yeah, that was that was a fun day. You know, I got a chance to see a lot of old teammates that I hadn't seen in years. You know, getting to see them, and you know, they got families, they got kids. You know, kind of doing their thing. And then, I think what what made it so special for me was I got to retire my jersey. You know, with my 
coach Mike Batesel on the same day, you know, so both of us kind of got inducted on the same day and, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here with you if it wasn't for Mike and, you know, all the wisdom he passed on, the, the tough love, you know, the great memories, you know, just all the things I've learned in baseball, you know, a lot of it has come from him and, you know, I, I can't thank him enough. So I, that day was pretty surreal, man, to see the, the stadium, you know, everyone packing it out and have my family there, obviously, it was a special moment. So right here, this is a cool jersey that you got a chance to wear. Alternate, obviously, it was for Players Weekend, but do you have this laying around at home? Because I know that in the background, a lot of the videos that you post, you got Adam Jones on the wall, <laughs> Mike Trout, Buster Posey. Where's this one? You know that actually, talking about Mike Batesel, um, he was the one that kind of, you know, there's a couple guys at Fresno that gave me the, the BAJ nickname, but he kind of adopted it to where even on the lineup card at times in our in our clubhouse, it'd say B-A-J instead of my name. So when I got my first jersey where I could put B-A-J, you know, I, I signed that for him and I shipped it back to California for him. And, you know, I thought that'd be pretty special. Hey, you're the one that, you know, always called me B-A-J. So I thought it was only fitting that you got to have this this jersey that I wore. So he's he's got that one at home. Amazing. The suit man, Gucci, you and your wife looking great in this. Got the fresh Davy Cuts <laughs> custom cut, that custom look, baby. Looking good. <laughs> oh yeah, he killed it. No, Davey, Davey always takes care of us for those all-star games, those big moments like that. And you know, my wife and I, you know, she's she's the fashion one. She's got all the designers, all the brands, she knows all of it. She's she's got an eye for fashion. So she's like, no, we're doing this suit, we're doing this. We had to help with the stylist as well, who kind of gave us some options, but I think it was eventually Sam that was like, nah, this is this is gonna be you. This is one of the first times that you ever went viral mm -hmm. with the soda can in your hand making it look super small. Yeah, that was, uh, we had a little fun with Pepsi, did a little shoot with them. Um, you know, that is a mini can, it was not a regular size can, so I don't have giant, that big of hands. But uh, no, it was fun, we had a fun time on that shoot. Everybody with Pepsi, they were, you know, we had a blast, man. They made it, they made it a lot of fun, so um, we'll have to do that again at some point. <laughs> Dude, we can do it again. Check this out. Oh boy. <laughs> toothpaste, a little bit of toothpaste right here. This is actually a regular size, so. Um, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, well, have some fun with that. Have some fun with that. <laughs> All right, your most liked photo on Instagram is this one right here. Mm -hmm. Special moment for you in your career. What do you think about when you see this photo? What I think about is my teammates. You know, that's why I wanted to post that picture. Just, you know, it's through that whole journey, you know, especially in 22, it was potentially my last year with the Yankees. You know, we're trying to make a push in the playoffs. You know, just trying to give the fans a special moment and, you know, kind of went on a, a good run there at the end. But, you know, along through the ups and downs, the good moments, the bad moments, you know, my teammates are always with me. They're always with me every step of the way. So, you know, getting a chance to share that experience, you know, breaking a record and, you know, having your whole team out there like it's a, you just hit a home run in a Little League World Series or something. It was, uh, it was pretty special, man. I'll never forget that day. You know, never forget, you know, what all those guys were on that team that year meant to me. Amazing. And what was in the box? They got me a nice little watch. It was it was pretty special, man. They all kind of pitched in, which was pretty cool. Uh, so I try to bust out that watch on special occasions. You know, I wore it when I signed. You know, back with the Yankees and being named captain because I wanted, you know, all my teammates with me in that moment. So it was pretty cool. Amazing. So there's one word that you just said just then was pitched in. Uh, CC Bath, the former teammate. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was somebody who's instrumental in starting your foundation as far as like somebody who could mentor you in that space. Mm -hmm. And you've been able to grow your foundation over the years and it's turning into such a big event. You're impacting so many lives and it's just so awesome to see how it's developed. So just looking at this, like got the chills just thinking about it. But what's <laughs> going on through your mind when you just see this and, and everything you've been able to do? Wow, you know, I, I think of, I think of the kids. You know, that's that's what it's all about is getting a chance to help all the kids we can in the U.S. And um, you know, like you said, CC kind of laid the paved the way for for me to get going. We asked, you know, my mom and I asked him a lot of questions. Asked him and Amber a lot of questions about how'd you start it up. You know, where'd you do certain things? Who'd you try to reach? And they, man, they gave us a blueprint, which was pretty special. And you know, we kind of tried to follow that blueprint and you know, kind of put our own stamp on it to 
you know, kind of just make a change in this world, you know. We've seen all these posts, but what would you say is your favorite part about social media and sharing everything that we just looked at? You know, I think just interacting with fans, interacting with people, I think just putting out a positive message, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, you see so many negativity going on in the world, you know, bad things being said about other people online. You know, I just want to try to go out there and be a positive role model in a positive place where, you know, they can go on my page and see something cool about baseball, about my foundation, about my teammates, you know, just about anything. So it's just really, what I love about social media is getting a chance to, you know, put something positive out there that people can enjoy. Amazing. And when we first did a video similar to this before mm -hmm. years ago, you had under 10,000 followers. Right now you have well over a million, which is amazing. Yeah. So if you're not following Aaron right now, <laughs> uh, why should somebody follow you? Now's the time for the plug and just let them know where to go. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> just take a peek, man. I, especially I'm a little more active during the season, you know, get a little content about what's going on with the team and, you know, some little series win videos but you know at the judge 44 also follow my foundation at aaron judge all rise foundation you know give them a follow you know, kind of see what we're doing in the communities what we're doing in new york california you know down here in florida hopefully soon so it was a follow awesome my man aaron hey, thank you so much for hopping on the feet brother always, always you man always. thank you